Joe Davis, now you'll have to unmute. Uh, you're here live on the kill stream, as you have been before in a dual debate. With, uh, what's that name? Logo Dalis, Keith Woods, and somebody else. I don't remember. But you still have to unmute. Audio's muted. Oh, you're right. Let's see. You're right. Boom. Now you can hear me, and now you can see me. You should be able to, at least. There you go. Go ahead. Hey, what's going on, man? Uh, nothing much. First off, one second, because my wife just walked in. What? They have so what's so strange about driving the car in Mexico? They have a lot of like weird rules and I don't really know our neighborhood and it's scary. <laughs> well, we're docs now anyway. We live in a very nice house though. Yeah. Casa Verde. Casa Verde. We're muted. They call it Casa Verde. No, we're not. They can hear us now. We were muted at first. Yeah, it's Casa Verde because the whole house is green. Like an avocado. Yeah, it literally is the color of an it avocado. Is the color of an avocado. <laughs> yeah. And it has like just a great outside place. I think and... our babysitter is here. I just heard the horn. She's cute. Come here. Come here. Come here. What? That was a compliment. That was a compliment on How? you. Okay. For a pic, you don't want, what do you want, an ugly babysitter? No, I picked her because she's nice. You want an ugly babysitter? No, I, I, no, I picked this babysitter because she's nice. All right. Okay. <clears throat> now, Joe, what's up? Hey, just wanted to uh, say uh, I haven't spoken to you since you guys got married. So, congrats on, <laughs> on getting married, dude. That's uh, yeah, that's been yeah, yeah, all the best. Yeah, that's great. Um, yeah, I mean, I just kind of clicked. I didn't really see your whole stream, so I don't know what you covered up until now. But um, I can give my basic thoughts on the situation. I would love it if you could, uh, because I'm going to be honest with you. I used to always get along. First off, I don't know where this fucking phantom sound is coming from, so I apologize. I'll have to figure it out later, but I always got along with the TR. I'll tell you the long, my 2018 to now version. I got along. I, I actually sent Mike Enoch an email, and I said, hey, you know, let's do a show. And everybody came on and asked him about being a Jew. And he was down for it. And then they came on the second show and kind of asked him about it. And then he was like, I'm not really, I don't really want to do that. And I was like, that's fair. You did two straight shows of people questioning you about being a Jew. You know, I mean, whatever they want to believe. I don't give a fuck, right? Like, you don't have to, <laughs> every show is not going to be that. Whatever. We had him in high profile debates with Destiny and others. Um, he actually had a debate with Destiny, um, which I thought he, Again, I'm the moderator. I really, I shouldn't say. I won't say. Never mind. <clears throat> anyway, after his debate with Destiny, another person we know, Eric Stryker, decided that, that Mike got mauled and told me that in the email. Not in the exact terminology necessarily, but he felt like Mike got embarrassed in the debate with Destiny, and then he would go on versus Destiny if I would set it up and just kick his ass. Now, I will say this because I've had a falling out with Striker since then, so I don't give a fuck. Um, Striker got absolutely <laughs> mauled by Destiny, um, especially for the first... He did recover. I will say this. To be fair, he did recover slightly in like the last 30 minutes, but he basically got mauled because he... He tried to debate jazz philosophy with Destiny, which I still is is one of the weirdest things that's ever happened um, in my career. But um, he did decide to do that. And um, so, yeah, so we had a fallen out um, since then. I think it's mostly Stryker who doesn't like me or whatever. Uh, and then, of course... You know, I have my own controversies, and, uh, you know, we went in on Mike Pinovich pretty hard since then, no doubt. So, so I won't, uh, I won't uh, obfuscate the record there. If you can hear me. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, no, no, I can hear you. Yeah, um, yeah, I don't really know 
exactly why uh, you guys fell out um, from that. But, um, you know, for me, if you want to give me to give my personal experience with sure. this guy's. That's I'm what nervous. I'm like. I never, I, I, ne- I never spoke to Mike Enoch directly before, but when um, when I first got red pills back in 2015, I used to enjoy The Daily Show. I used to listen to it back in 2015, 2016. Um, there wasn't a lot like it back then. Like back then, The Daily Show up and or like the TRS guys basically in general because they had the FTN podcast as well and The Daily Stormer uh, and 4chan. Like that was like, that was the alt-right. That shit plus whatever Richard Spencer was doing, that was the alt-right back then. That was all the big stuff. Uh, everyone was into it and they... You know they were they really did have a massive podcast. I mean they still do. I think have a pretty decent listenership, but it's nowhere near as uh, big as it was back then. Because back then it wasn't all paywalled. You could find it on YouTube very easily. You could find it all over the internet really easily. Um, and uh, Enoch himself, you know, he did you know drive a lot of the discourse back then. He had he, he, you know he, he's he's not a dumb guy. Like he is a no. smart guy. But um, yeah, yeah. So a lot of people who have their issues with this or that take, you know, the fact is he is, I think he is a pretty sharp uh, political commentator, but, um, you know, it seems like lately, you know, they've, they've put all their energy into this NJP thing, but by kind of uh, putting this paywall on all of the TRS content, it's um, created this kind of like insular, you know, like back in the day, like you said, they used to come on your show and do sure. debates and they used to do they used to do all other kinds of stuff, but you, you barely see them outside of their TRS box anymore. They've kind of become this very insular thing. Um, and uh, you don't really hear about them as much unless you go out, actively go out and seek them. So I never really had anything to do with Enoch uh, because I'm kind of newer on the scene. However, Stryker, he does kind of still engage more, unlike some of the other guys. So, you know, Stryker was friends with Keith. I think we did like a stream. The first time I talked to Stryker was there was the uh, Charlottesville uh, court case. Uh, going back, like, I think 2021, uh, where, you know, they, they, it was like a civil suit. They were trying to, like, just sue the shit out of sure. everyone involved in organizing Charlotte's feelings. Yeah, and that was to, fucked like, up, and we had Kessler. Well, I just want to say this um, for my own promo. We had Kessler on with um, an actual all-time great uh, Peter Brimlow trying to raise money uh, for Kessler's defense because they were, you know, and they did get, like, some kind of million-dollar judgment on him. Uh, or whatever the fuck it was. Um, so, yeah, we did talk about that uh, a good bit on the kill stream uh, at the time. Pinovich mysteriously got got removed from that lawsuit, though. Yeah, I mean, I think they got out of it because they they weren't really organizers. Like, I think the people that it stuck to were people who were organizing groups, like Kessler and Spencer as, like, the kind of the figurehead organizers got done. I think the trad worker party guys got roped in and any of the other kind of, uh, you know, formal organizations that showed up. But back then the NJP didn't exist. So the TRS guys were like, oh, we just have a podcast and we showed up. So I think that was how they got around it. But, um, but yeah, anyway, I think, I think the majority of the people to that lawsuit, they got, they formally lost, but they basically got off on technicalities. Like I think, um, I know that the, the trad worker guys did and so on. So I guess it, it wasn't really a success. There were the, the Jewish legal team that was funded with millions to go and screw all of those guys didn't sure. really actually achieve their objectives in the end. But, um, sure. but yeah, anyway, around the time when the court case was going on, we were kind of analyzing it. We were kind of calling in, listening to it and so on. And we did a stream, uh, Keith, I strike, uh, um, and I feel like t- someone else was there as well, but I can't recall. Um, and that was the first time I met Striker, and you know we got along okay. So I was like, yeah, this guy's pretty cool. I remember seeing him in a few streams. Um, you know, he's a very charismatic guy or whatever. Um, so we became friends. We did a few podcasts together over the years, and he used to hang out in my Telegram chat all the time. And uh, I thought we were friends. I didn't agree with all of his takes. Like we had our disagreements about various things, um, but I thought we were friends. Uh, then Nick offered uh, me to have a cozy channel. Uh, obviously I accepted the offer. I'm on cozy now. Um, if you don't know, if you don't know who I am, my name is Joel Davis. You can find me on cozy, uh, cozy, uh, TV slash Joel Davis. Anyway. Um, so I, I jumped on cozy a few months back and, um, you know, the reason why I wanted to come on cozy was because, you know, there isn't really another kind of streaming platform like it. That's really available for people like us that do what we do. It's a great platform for dissident right streamers. It's not, you know, I, if I stream on YouTube, Thankfully, I still have a YouTube for now, but it could get taken away from me at any time. And I have to self-censor the whole time while I stream, which is really disturbing when you're trying to talk about like the topics that we talk about. It's really difficult to fit in within the TOS. So, and Odyssey is kind of glitchy and uh, has issues and doesn't have you know a great user base. I mean, it's it's okay, but but Cozy's uh, a superior platform in my opinion. So, 
anyway, Stryker was like, why are you going on Posey? Uh, Nick Fuentes and AF people, they're like an enemy of TRS. If you go on there, like, you know, um, you know, we'll have to treat you as such and so on. And I was like, I thought we were friends, dude. I just want to use this streaming platform. Like, Fuentes, I know Fuentes and, and you the guys same are thing. always... One, you know, one sec, the same thing happened to me. Like, I had, I was like the arbiter between, you know, and, J, and JP early, you know, version or whatever. Um, and, um, and, you know, Cozy.TV, America First. And then once I started using Cozy, it was like okay, now I'm an enemy. And it's like, well, you're not going to tell me what platform to use. The platform works great. It's bringing me to new audiences. Like, who the fuck? I mean, this is my own experience, too. I've talked about this on air. Anyway, I don't want to cut yours off. I just want to, like, cosign what you're saying here, how it, like, turned nasty. Any Like, really nasty. Anyway. Yeah, well... I mean, initially he wasn't too nasty. He kind of laid it out matter of factly, but like, and I always knew obviously Fuentes and um, Striker or Fuentes and the TRS people in general didn't get along with each other. Uh, and I knew that. And before Fuentes and I became friends, he would sometimes take jabs at me and Keith Woods and say, oh, you know, like I kind of like these guys, but they, they, share T- they share TRS accounts and I'm not too happy with it. But he, he kind of just let it go. He, Fuentes obviously decided, well, you know what, like, you know, it's, it's not a big deal. Um, and he just... Uh, he just got over it basically and was the bigger man about it. And and since we became friends, he never gave me a hard time over it. He never was trying to tell me who I can and can't associate with or anything like that. Um, Whereas that's what I got from Stryker. And it was like, you know, if someone tells me who I can and can't associate with, it's kind of like, well, go fuck yourself. Like, I mean, who the fuck do you think you are? Um, And I spoke to some other people in the scene. I'm not going to name names, but I spoke to other people in the scene who are kind of friends with, you know, they're not in TRS, but they're, you know, friendly with them and so on. And they all said, you should just go on cozy, man. Like it's, it's going to be a good platform for you. And it makes a lot of sense. So everyone could see it outside of their little bubble. Um, but you know, they decided to attack me. So then, yeah, anyway, but he didn't, ex- he didn't kind of explicitly attack me at the time, but then I just started seeing, you know, a lot of comments from like the NJP accounts, like, Oh, you associate with Fuentes. This is making you look ridiculous. Everyone thinks you're, you know, uh, an idiot now because, you know, we used to think you're a great political commentator, but you associate with the cat boy. Or we used to think you were Aristotle, but now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's just, it's just like, but it was just like this stupid gaslighting, but it's like, I'm looking at, I'm looking at the statistics on all of my videos, my social media, if anything, I got a boost, uh, if anything, since I, since I went on Cozy, probably because I got some, a bit of a new audience, some people who didn't know me before who, you know, saw my Cozy channel or whatever, uh, you know, maybe they started following me or whatever, or it was for other reasons, who knows. But the point is, I didn't notice this huge drop-off. Like, there's this massive, like, TRS loyalist base out there that was watching all of my content that are just, like, no longer associating with me or something. I mean, it, it didn't really affect me. Um, so, yeah, you know, whatever. I mean... They're doing their thing. They do have, I think, a considerable audience size, but sure. I feel like their audience size is mostly legacy. I don't see how they're growing it anymore with all the paywalls uh, and, and so on around their content. So it really doesn't feel well, like... So I feel really that's why I always I felt... Be kind of like, like the paywall. I don't want to be sucked into like American uh, you know, rivalries and so on. I try to stay neutral on other sure. countries, you know, internal beefs. But I mean, they sucked me into it, so I picked a side. I mean... It's as simple as that. Plus, what you did you so? really do? Do you know, like, do you know Ranbot? Do you know? Um, I know of him only because you used to associate with him, but I don't know him. But that's right. No, no, I said that again. Wait, repeat the sentence you just said again, just to make sure people heard what you said. I, I just, I just want that clip. Go ahead, say, say that again. Uh, what about? I knew about him. Ranbot? I knew Ranbot, but only because you used to associate with them. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's literally the only reason I knew Ranbot was because of seeing stuff that, well, when you guys fell out and seeing like drama, BS, and so on. It is. Um, I don't know. To me, it's kind of silly. Um, I got like Ranbot. Literally, he was a long time co-host on my show, uh, and stabbed me in the back. Of course, he's a TRS diehard or whatever. Um, and he stabbed me in the back, Dingo, you know, that's another one of these guys, um, like acted like it was a, they acted like it was a betrayal, really, uh, and it's like, well, I'm using this platform, um, there's a lot of our same guys on this platform anyway, you retard, what the fuck are you talking about, like, you know what I mean, like, how dumb are these people, Joel, do do you know what I mean? It's a streaming platform. I mean, yeah. and uh, the fuck, and like, 
there's no rules. Like you can literally say anything you want. You know, it's secure. The only way in which you could ever get kicked off cozy would be if you like, uh, you know, had some like insane personal beef against Fuentes and just started doing anti Fuentes like a log streams on cozy or something crazy. But even like then, that. Like, you probably wouldn't, wouldn't, get that, kicked you wouldn't get kicked off. Probably, even then, <laughs> you probably great. wouldn't get kicked off. You'd probably make money if you did that. The only way you would yeah. get kicked <laughs> off is if you like started showing porn or you know like something crazy or some shit like that. Like you, yeah, it'd be really hard to get kicked off. Yeah, 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 it would be really hard to get kicked off. I don't understand the beef at all. I'm glad to see you on cozy. I want to set up a debate or something. I really want to get the debate series started back up because I just haven't done. I don't think we've done any since August. Um, it's starting to get to be a, it's starting to get to be a while. Uh, so I would like to. No, a, a debate would be good. I have to find I have to find a good sparring partner for a debate. I did I did quite a few debates last year, but I haven't done any in a few months. I think I kind of exhausted a rotation of like the obvious kind of debate opponents, and now it's uh, now we're kind of fishing for yeah, for looking new. yeah, so um, I'm looking for some can I don't care, you know. I, I I'm I'm down for anything. What do you think? Oh, God, there was some debate I had the other day. I can't remember. Are you uh, are you against an intergender debate? Uh, well, I mean, kind of, because if I beat a woman in a debate, I, get, I gain nothing from this. See, man, I, need uh, I have to sit there and listen to a woman bitch at me Dude, for two it's hours. it's about the show. I mean, it, no, look, it's about the show. It's about the spectacle. It's not about, like, I mean, okay, you might not get the big bonus points, but, like, do you want to put on a good show? Like, would you rather, like, beat the shit out of a bitch for an hour or, like... I mean, it, it, I think it would have to have like it couldn't. No, it be, needs like, to be right. It needs to be right. Have to have like a context. No, I agree. Context. I agree. I agree. It needs to be right. It needs to be right. It needs to be the right topic. Um, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I can already find the right topic. I actually want another. Like, uh, yeah, I want another. I want another. Uh, where are you from? Hey, before I miss um, nationalize you, I already know, but I want to make sure I don't do that. I'm an Aussie man. Yeah. I think yeah, yeah. you versus like some Aussie um, crazed feminist. I already know one of those would be like <laughs> would be like fucking hilarious. Really. I mean, not only just hilarious, but you know, I you know I don't do this. So you know, some of these people will do this and they'll say like, oh, I'm all about you know finding the truth." Or dude, there is none of that. I'm all about putting on badass shows and having people laugh and and do that. Like that's not I don't give a fuck about halls of debate or anything like that. Um, but I know a couple of crazy Aussie bitches, bitches. No offense to those ladies, by the way. Uh, let's play these super chats and see they if they come through uh, as well before you go. Uh, and then also I had something else I was gonna play. Let's see. A fresh guy, say you fuck. Oh my god. No. Davidson three dollars dereliction of duty. Mike and derelict sees. I don't know what the fuck that meant. Markov sent five dollars TRS is a movement of spiteful retards with no vision and no future. They're too stupid and emotional to negotiate or even notice Mike Painovich is a Jew married to a Jew living in a Dude, Jewish gated Nick, community. I just got to Nick was literally in my chat saying that they would be cool, he would be cool. Doesn't work. Don't worry about it. It's literally fucking dumb at this point. Like... Orbital Bro sent five dollars. One of my favorite killstream moments was when Rand was shit faced and drunkenly praising Eric Stryker to a random caller. The caller said, "Who?" And you just start busting out laughing and giggling and trying to cover. <laughs> yeah. Mexican zero on three. I sent five dollars. Hey. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> Mexican zero on three. I sent five dollars. Oh, hey. Wait, wait. Oh no, drink. drink. Oh, good play earlier. Did it? Hold on, let's see. Uh, trying to make sure. Now that played. I think all those played. I was just, You're right, there, dude. No, yeah, I was just going through and making sure uh, that all those played. Well, but, do you want to weigh in on the actual yes, yes, issue yes. here with yes, uh, Greg yes. and so on? Yes. Because um. Now wait, hold on. Yeah. Wait, let me hold on. Hold on. 
Oh, you got, you got some more you got some Aussie. No, I don't have any more Super Chats, unfortunately. They're kind of lacking today, if you want to know the truth. I'm not sure if we're going to hit the sixth hour Transformer Fund or not, but uh, we'll see. But either way, we got an awesome guest here with Joel Davis making another appearance on the kill stream. Uh, but with the way the uh, the money's been flowing, it's, it's, it's looking a little dicey on whether or not we're going to hit the sixth hour Transformer Fund and go all the way until 10 o'clock instead of 8 o'clock. So we'll see. But this is actually what I wanted you to weigh in on. Yes, you're correct. Greg Conti. How do you know Greg Conti? I mean, I don't, again, I don't know Greg personally, but um, obviously he's been around for a while. He used to be back on the, the Heel Turn Network with Richard Spencer and so on way back in the day. Like I'm talking five years ago plus. Um, and uh, Greg... Greg, I think he, I think he is like, you know, we're all a bit autistic, right? But I think he is legitimately on the spectrum. Um, and I'm not holding that against him. There's, I've got a plenty of uh, autistic friends and, mm. uh, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. You know, they can be kind of, they can be kind of kooky, but it's not, kind of that, there's, cool way not that there's anything wrong with that. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm not hating on the, I'm not hating on the Spurgs out there. I would never do that, but um, it does make him come across kind of uh, unhinged sometimes. And, uh, you know, uh, you know, he's, he's very into like, you know, speaking in German or sometimes even French. And, uh, you know, he's very, he, he's a very like hard line national socialist. He loves Hitler and, you know, that's cool, you know, but it's like, it's, it's, kind of, it's a little bit weird when, you know, he's, he kind of brings it up where it's unnecessary almost to even bring it up. Uh, I think this maybe is a situation like that where it's like, you know, it's just, he's just a little, he's just a little bit of a strange dude. And, um, and so it makes him a little bit hard to get a read on. Um, yeah, well, I know, I know. Back in the day, he fell out with Spencer because he accused Spencer of trying to crack onto his uh, his wife or his girlfriend. Um, and, Spencer you know, probably did that. By the said, way, you know, he Spencer probably did that. By the way, Spencer's a friend of mine. I bet you he probably did that. There's all kinds of allegations. I mean, about that's Spencer the thing, though. It's an unbelievable thing. <laughs> that Spencer would do it. But that doesn't necessarily mean that he did. It's a smart <laughs> thing to try and accuse him of because everyone would just assume it's true, right? Yeah, of course, because um, he fucks everything the most. Yeah, exactly. I would think it was true. I'd be like, oh, is she halfway hot? Yeah, of course Spencer tried to smash. Anyway, go ahead. Yeah, so, yeah, but, I, you know, some people that I knew that were around at the time said he kind of made something out of nothing there. Um, and, yeah, so it's possible he's making something out of nothing here, but it's a very bad situation because Greg Conti is listed as, I mean, NJP is an LLC, and he's listed, I think, as the um, sole owner legally of, of, of the is. LLC. So this isn't something where they can just, you know, no. go their separate ways and, and, and this can all be oh. over. Like, this is going to be a bit of a mess, which whoever's right or wrong in this. Who's going to own just these trademarks? Who's going to start? Greg could be making up some <laughs> bullshit gonna be and selling, blowing this whole thing up. Who's going to be selling the NJ? No, no, no. Shit. Who's going to be selling the NJP polo shirts? <laughs> who's going to get the royalty profits off that now? Like, I mean, I mean, this this thing could, this thing could, could spiral out of control, truly. I... I never expected the that logo is so classic. It's not like they ripped it off, you know, another German party or anything like that. Um, by the way, will this play? I don't know. We'll see. Mark Newcomb sent five dollars. Joel, I love your show. With Blair, keep up the good work. Ralph, you should get Blair Cottrell on for a debate too. Man, look, Blair Cottrell goes a little. <laughs> I would have him on the show. To discuss a very specific, you know, to have a discussion. I don't, I don't know if this is a shock. Is this a shock to people? Um, a Joel, D sent eighty eight dollars. God, what a legend! By the way, that means we just hit the what goal. the uh, this scandal. I, I mean, I think it is kind of shocking to to see something like this where it's like uh, no, not this, but I mean Blair Cotter. What do you know about it? Because I pig sent five dollars. What do you know about Blair Cotter? Uh, Oh, Blair and I are good friends. We do a show together on Thursday nights on Cozy, Australian time, 8 p.m. Now, he was known early on when I was hosting the Kill Show on YouTube as a guy you don't want to have on because he would get your channel taken down. That was that was basically what he was known as. Well, yeah. I mean, he, he's a controversial, f not not because he can't handle himself optically, but because... Can he, um, you know, can he, he though? He, like, that's he what I'm very, asking. He was, he, he, was, he, he was quite successful in Australia. Um he led a like the movement that he led, you know, five five years ago, like the Australian alt right. He was like, 
he was like, you know, Australia's Richard Spencer kind of thing. He was like the leader of the Australian alt-right. Um, and then when you had the uh, shooting, Brendan Tarrant in New Zealand, who shot up that mosque, then a ton of bricks came down on his head, basically, um, because they used because the Tarrant was an Australian citizen. They used that as a pretext to say, and they kind of tried to connect him to Blair because he sent Blair a super chat sometime. And yeah, and I know, the, you know what? And I know that shit goes because some guy sent me half a Bitcoin and he killed himself and he sent Nick a bunch of money too. And now he's trying to say it's like some kind of fucking organized. It's like, no, some fucking random guy sent me a Bitcoin. Uh, yeah, I do understand that. I, I just, I, I think maybe he has an unfair reputation with the Ralph Mel. I've never had him on the show. Yeah. I mean, I think if you talk to him, you'd realize he's actually, you know, very cogent and uh, straight shooting kind of guy. Um, smart. Um, yeah, he can hold himself. He's got good social skills. He's not a spurg that just flies off the handle. He's not going to be a rambot. Um, Is he going to be a rambot? No, no. Blair doesn't drink. He's like a gym guy. He's very like he's a health nut. He's all about you know fucking like chicken and, like and rice and him. fucking yeah, yeah, keeping yeah, keeping yeah, sober. Yeah, yeah, so. <laughs> all right, let's go through the let's go through the rest of this. But uh, I've had several people suggest that to me, and all I remember from Blair Cultural is, oh shit. They were banning everybody who had Blair Cottrell. Well, do you know? Do, do you know? Um, do you know Martin Selma? Uh, yeah, Europe? you know, and actually, um, I don't have any problem with him, but his wife got mad at me for going at two separate hoes. She blocked me and unblocked me, Brittany. <laughs> by the way, she blocked me, unblocked me. We fought each other back, got to be friends again, and then I said something about another whore, and she blocked me again, and I blocked her now. And I don't want anything to do with the lady. I'll well, say the reason, the reason why I brought up uh, Selna is because I had him on my YouTube channel a couple times recently, and the streams are very optical. We kept it. We, we ensured that we stayed within the TOS. Um, and I've never gotten a strike on my channel before, but they got taken down with a strike purely because he is just like, you know, he is like the most white hot figure in Europe. Like the, you know, the governments over there. He, he is like the. He's like the poster boy of the, I guess, the alt right. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. It's because Austria. the fucking it's not even now on the boat. And shit. Yeah, it, it's all in Austria. It's a very sensitive place, right? Birthplace. Of yeah, so yeah, I know. It's, so it's, like, it's so on three and send five dollars. Joel, do you know who Thomas Sal is? <coughs> what the? Uh, I would the imagine. Economist? I would imagine he probably does know who Thomas Sal is. Yeah, uh, the black economist. Yeah, the narcissist. Um, now we did upgrade to the all day super show fund. That deserves a cheer. Another cheer. Okay. Now let's finish this fucking clip. Can we, How, are you, you're in Australia. What time is it now? Uh, it's like nine 30 in the morning. You're not drinking. Uh, no, I'm not, I'm not on the booze. No, <laughs> not at nine 30 in the morning. <laughs> What time would you start drinking normally Australian time? Well, well, it depends. Like, is it a weekend? Is it a weekday? You know, I've got shit to do. I mean, do you have certain days per week? Look, you don't I'm drink? Wait, 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 wait. Maybe I should have bust out some bourbon and... Uh, I mean, you know, I kind of we'll, feel like we'll, almost we'll, you should because I'm drunk. Like, I mean, so I kind of <laughs> almost think? feel like... You, yeah, yeah. I couldn't tell, man. <laughs> I, I, could, I could think that you could bust some out. Yeah, maybe just a little bourbon. I don't think that would hurt. Yeah, yeah, I'm a, yeah. Why not? I'm on the kill stream. Why not? When in Rome, you know. Yeah, I mean. You hey, wait, know. Maybe play some of this clip. I'll go make myself a drink. Go make yourself a drink. You want me to play it now, or do you want to make the drink first? No, nah, play. It. I got my headphones on. I'll be able to hear it. All right, play it now. Okay. okay. Yeah, play it now, dude. Supporters, volunteers, and staff of the National Justice Party. Over the past few weeks, I have tried to get an overall picture of the NJP's activities. <laughs> In the interest of developing a long-term strategic plan, I wanted to determine what resources, men, money, were at the party's disposal. Mm. At first, my inquiries were trivial. How many men in such and such a state? How many new personnel vetted per month and the like? But even in such petty things, my investigation was hindered again and again. Tuesday of last week, I found out why. No! Orders were issued behind my back to block 
God. NJP staff personnel Fuck. from speaking to me. Who issued these secret orders? Secret orders? I asked the Central Committee. The answer was quite a shock. Sounds like Hitler. The chief of staff himself, Tony Hovader. Now, how could this be? Not only am I a member of the board, but also the legal owner of the National Justice Party's corporate entity. I am entitled, no, obliged by law, to understand what is being done in my name. I confronted the chief of staff and the chairman about this clear violation of law and of custom. Mm. The answers that I received were not good, unsatisfactory. <laughs> I pressed and pressed, but again and again, I was told to shut up and repeatedly insulted for having the temerity to ask for information that is my right, my God. indeed, my duty to know. These two gentlemen left me no recourse oh. but to accuse them of withholding documents, no, of gross that. incompetence, no. and of dereliction of duty. Fuck. I stand by those accusations. I offered to submit myself to confidential binding arbitration with Messrs. Hovader and Painovich oh. in the interest of finding out the truth what do and is that? without exposing the organization to embarrassment. But Mr. Painovich refused my offer. What is he afraid of? This is why Painovich is his family law firm. <laughs> well, now I have today an answer. Last night, I checked the bank records for NJP's corporate entity. <laughs> Mr. Hovader, chief of staff, and I, owner, are the only two people with access to this bank account. What I found was deeply concerning. $10,000 had been transferred on 13th February, 2023, from party funds to a Kraken cryptocurrency account belonging to Mr. Hovader. No, never again. has a similar transaction occurred. At no other time has money been moved from the NJP account to this or any other cryptocurrency exchange. That's not good. I have records to prove all of this. If this matter ever comes before a court, the bank can authenticate these records. This is part of an ongoing pattern of behavior, of secrecy, of lies, of deceptions. Thus, in the interest of preventing any further money grabs, I have removed Mr. Hovader from the account. No. I have granted viewing access oh of the bank God. account to a highly respected neutral man of outstanding character known to me when are and you to, to the other it? board members. He will provide oversight of the bank account. I oh, will Shut not touch a penny until this matter is resolved. Mr. Hovader, what is going on? Mr. Painovich, what? what? is going on for the sake of our trusting supporters oh, no. and in the interest of our budding movement i demand that messieurs painovich and hovader provide an explanation and that they back it up with authentic documents you can tell us guys are watching too many like history channel docs so like how parties got started and shit too i will have what can you just say what is it to say no wait wait no hold on wait let me can i can't, can't no, to, say it say can't you tell that like seriously the first thing i thought was like this guy's been watching like a lot of dogs on like party meetings early on and shit. Anyway, go ahead. Thoughts? Go ahead and we'll continue. There's not much left. Actually, there are four minutes left. There's just, this is halfway in. Yeah, go we'll, ahead. We'll, we'll talk a bit because it's, it's, it's hard to get through it all and not lose focus. This is um, the Roma. This is the Roma. Roma AS. There's two sides to this. On the one side, there's two arguments you can make in either direction. If you want to side with Conte, you can say, well, look. They can't come out and say, now this guy's crazy because they put him in charge of the whole LLC. So they must have trusted trusted him before. So if you trusted him before, why wouldn't you still trust him? Like You, you saying now that we can't trust him is like, well, you're not a, we need some third party to tell us we can't trust this guy because you've already told us we can trust you this guy. You sold over your whole fucking can't. company to this guy, Joel. 
They sold yeah, over exactly. the whole so, party to this guy. So now you're talking about, well, you don't trust them? Well, that means you're the ultimate failure. That's like some Trumpian defense. Like, oh, all yeah, right. Yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah, but yeah, that's yeah, the yeah. thing. It's like, it's either worse they're being than Trump over by Greg or, or they, they were doing some funny business. It's one of these two things is the case. We don't know which one. But on the side of we'll maybe Greg has a point is that on the side of maybe Greg is fucking them over. I saw something that they were saying, which was that the money that was transferred was transferred also into a company crypto account. And so it wasn't actually nefarious. And he's kind of like using that as a, as a, as an exit. Um, <laughs> yeah, you mean of, a you know, issues. Exit scam. Yeah. Dude, 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 take it. So we don't know. We don't know. No, I mean, this is, and again, I don't care, but like what I'm saying is, what he just emptied the accounts into a fucking crypto scam and now he's gonna take all the money? Is that not criminal? Like I don't know, like uh, no, it wasn't a crypto scam. I think he moved it into a crypto account, but it was still the engine. Yeah, well, okay, account. not scam, but like So he just took all the money. Allegedly. Yeah, I don't, I don't know Allegedly. How much cash they actually had we don't total. know. We don't said, know. Like, By the way, I wanna be clear. Money, no, I wanna be clear. Peaceful Sunset Productions and Killstream, and nobody has any idea just how much was cleared, but it was a lot. Four more minutes. Who gave it to us? Allegedly. Given that I am still the legal owner of the corporate entity and a member of the board, this is my legal and moral duty. I swear to you that I will dispose of the money only in consultation with competent legal and financial advisors, and I will announce publicly how the money is to be spent Jeez. and to whom it is given. Now, perhaps... By the way, I just wanted to say Jews when he said that. How do you know they are Jews? This is all a misunderstanding. They probably Maybe. are. They most likely are, are, but... Uh, I do not know. But I promise you that I will find out. Given the lack of transparency from Messrs. Hoveter and Painovich, you can understand why I find this suspicious. On the very same day that Mr. Hoveter took that money, the Central Committee offered, through an intermediary, to give me a severance package of $10,000. I, of course, refused. I can produce what? witnesses to testify what? to... Why don't you take the 10K, you dumbass? <laughs> I mean, that's the other thing that's weird. It's like they were trying to give this guy 10 grand to to leave. Oh, it's like, why were you giving so, him 10 grand to leave? Are you trying to pay him off dude, to keep no, his mouth seriously, shut? Think, you, Joel, seriously, think. Like, they offered him, like you just said, 10 grand to leave. It's like, just take the 10 grand and leave. Like, why was you tired? Now his life's going to be tied up in this for like three or four years. Just take the ten grand and leave. Like that was the ultimate yeah. solution for him, right? Or am well, I wrong? I mean, if 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 he's being honest, obviously, I mean, this guy is all about this shit. Like, if you see him when he does these speeches, like <clears throat> he's a tr he, he's a true believer in in this project. It really does seem so. He does come across as sincere. So Man, these guys. There is this funny business going on for him. I think it's probably would be, you would you would say if he's not full of shit, it would be a matter of principle. So he would be happy that he's not going to. You know take what? You're away. right. It's a matter of principle, and their principle ideology is dumbassery. To these facts, I stated that I will not accept pay from a political organization that, as it stands, I cannot believe in. Indeed. I have never accepted a salary from this or any other political organization. Then Even if you consider idiot, the money fuck. that I received for help fighting my four-year-long legal fuck? battle mission, no, 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 no. I have let me, on balance. Let me lost. let me move this. Why would you expect? Why would it be unethical to get paid by a political party? Just on the face of it, that actually sounds retarded. How could they? Ha how could they hire a staff? How could they, how could they hire? anything like do you understand what i'm saying joel like does that not sound um, dumb as fuck like he, he says that like it's a um you know guiding principle oh i've never gotten paid by any uh political party and it's like well okay well you're a fucking dumbass then like i mean you should have got paid by a political party there's nothing wrong with you. Yeah, I mean, How do you, you know, think these he, things this happen? This guy was like, one of the head, head leaders, so I think the people who were donating are quite happy for him to get paid a living wage. Uh, but, yeah, I don't know the ins and outs, but 
it just struck me as weird why he wouldn't be getting paid. Is he right? Right. That's what I'm party. saying. Yeah, isn't it? Yeah, like, yeah. that's what I'm saying. It's like, it's weird that you, okay, so you work for free all these years without getting paid? Well, first off, dumbass. Second off, there's not necessarily th- anything wrong with getting paid by a political party if you're doing, you know, of course, you know. All work, yeah, if you're actually right. doing the work. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tens of thousands of dollars in the service of this movement. And in its service, I have given up all hope of career, of advancement, of prestige. I have given up all hope except my unshakable belief in the ultimate triumph of the National Socialist worldview. Oh, my if, God. This guy sounds like a moron, dude. I'm sorry. If. Joe, dude, this guy sounds like a moron. I'm just going to be like, am I wrong? Or does this guy just sound like a fucking moron? Well, well, like I said, I think he's on the spectrum, dude. You know, I mean, he's yelling about the overall triumph of the national social. I mean, it's over at that point, right? I mean, you know it is. Nobody's. It would. Like, you you're laughing. I can't hear you laughing. You know it's over when you like when you're like when you're yelling something like that. Like it's over, right? Or am I wrong? Yeah, I mean, this is obviously a pretty, this is a pretty fucked up situation. I mean, who knows? Maybe Greg can save NJP and he can clear them out and, you know, and one day he'll be marching on Washington at the end. Right, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> right? Like, no, literally. <laughs> Uncle too. It's literally like that, dude. It's exactly like that. God, thank you for doing that. <laughs> it's literally like that. It's like, um, okay, you know what? We can't top what we just did. I- I'll just play the rest of this. Somehow. Mr. Hoveter's $10,000 transfer was legitimate. I will return the rest of the party's bank funds to the board, and I will resign. Again, under no circumstances will I spend a penny of that money without giving a public explanation. But I very much doubt that Mr. Hoveter's action was legitimate. On this, I stake my whole reputation. I will not tolerate a conspiracy against the trust and goodwill of the NJP supporters. Supporters, volunteers, and staff of the National Justice Party, you must demand answers and not the petty little answers that I at first sought, but big ones. Who is being paid? How much are they being paid? How much money is in the crypto accounts? What has been done with this money? This organization needs to appoint an inspector general to go through every available record. And so I have done everything in my power to uncover the truth and to set things right. I am now at an impasse. Of course, I was reluctant to make any of this information public. I have never aired dirty laundry, lest doing so be seized upon and exploited by our external enemies. But I have exhausted every other option. No protocol, no procedure is left to me other than this open and frank appeal. The guy sounds like a faggot. I mean, this is true. Like we have to. Admit I mean, that. I mean, but what do you? But, he but he's telling the he truth. I mean, he was like, "Look, like if you guys can prove that." It's no, all I think he's telling the truth. Yeah, he gave him. He gave no, him. No, I mean, him, uh, like, to go. So let's see. The ball's in their court, basically. Yeah. It's like either you can prove you. that he's full of shit, or well, they can't because the he owns the whole company. Like, what in the fuck? Why would you start a company? And you're the okay. Say I'm Ethan Ralph. I'm Ethan Ralph. And I would start a company. I would say, hey, I like Joel Davis. Why don't I just make Joel Davis the owner? <laughs> All right, let's go. <laughs> Why don't I just make Joel Davis the owner? Mr. Did you, Ethan Ralph. Did you see, <laughs> we saw Q Farms go through my numbers the other day, and they were shocked that I made almost $200,000 last year. And yeah, well, just deposit in my bank account, dude. I'll take care of it. <laughs> right, you'll take care of it. But, but it's like, <laughs> I... What can even be said to this, honestly? Um, I don't know. Do 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 you sub to NJP? This is the same type of shit they said to me. Do, do you can 
continue supporting Ralph? Do you know? Do you know? Um, do you do you want to end his career? Um, this is Greg Conti, a key member of your organization, calling you crooks and calling you not just crooks, but I mean massive crooks. And now they got this statement about he's not with their organization. It doesn't matter. There is no organization in the first. You, you know what I mean? Like, this whole thing's a joke. It would be like me starting up the Ethan Ralph party. Uh, and it is that. It's called the kill stream. But, like, it would be like me making it a, an official party. Like, it's so fucking corny and dumb. One option I see is Peter Piper Pizza. I don't know. Who knows? Cash app notification. I don't fucking know. Who is that? Oh, wait. Request. No. You almost got it through, though. <laughs> well, the interesting thing will be how, I mean, will all of the others unify? It seems as though, because he was kind of calling on Warren, Balo. I think, saying, like, well, yes. You stand with I me. think Balog. I think Warren has picked the other side. So, I mean, he's getting frozen. Is Balog, like is Balog leaving, leaving or is side. he in or out with NJP? Balo, Balo is like the next guy in charge. He's in. So he's in. Well, that's my view. Um, so Stryker, he's obviously still in. Yeah, I mean I they're, they're watching all, this they're show. All taking a side against Greg now, so I think. Is there anything their stopping view is them? That from, Greg is full of shit. From joining this show right now, actually. What do you mean? I mean they could join this show right now. They they're all on Telegram like we are. Like they could actually just. Uh, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't be. I don't think they're gonna be calling in, dude. <laughs> well, I know they won't. But uh, I'm trying to talk. <laughs> I know. But I. Uh, but I appreciate you coming on. What the fuck time is there? Eleven thirty. Uh, probably about by now. Yeah, it's almost ten o'clock in the morning. Yeah. yeah. But so uh, yeah, I came on because uh, you know you you were yelling at me to, to call in. So I, I appreciate wanna, you, brother. Hey, you I actually want to set you up with a debate. Fuck all this dumb shit. Uh, so take it easy. I'll watch you soon. Oh, promote your stuff. Yeah, yeah. So as I said, go sub to my cozy uh, Joel Davis, um, and you can sub to me on Telegram at Joel Davis X. Uh, but yeah, I mean, uh, I guess we'll see how this bullshit situation plays out. I'm sure shit will come to honestly. Life. And Nick was and in we'll the chat we- earlier saying this, and I'll say this again. Um, I'm not against a tr- uh, like just a full like truce, leave a motherfucker alone type situation. Um, he said the same thing. If they would have came with that at the beginning, I feel almost the same way. Like just do your own thing. But that probably won't happen. Still, thank you for coming on. Lights, man. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.